Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video we're going to take a look at the latest updates on modern controls in Power Apps Canvas. And it's important that we understand this because there has been a rapid growth of all these modern controls since April of 2023 till today of February of 2024 and we just need to know which of these are currently still in preview or those we could actually use in your production apps. So this video is important both for administrators and those power users who actually make these apps. So stick around, it's very important. But first, here's my intro video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is rewind back to that April of 2023 and see the first release of these modern controls that came in and see the improvements that happened ever since then. Okay, so back in April of 2023, I released this video to give you the first looks of the modern controls. And then you had to go into settings, go into upcoming features, and under preview, you pretty much had to scroll all the way to the bottom and toggle on this option for try out the modern controls. And when you did that, under the insert section on the left vertical menu, you had modern controls, you clicked on it, and it showed you all of these. Now keep in mind, all of them at that time were under preview. They were pretty awesome, but they were all under preview, again, in April of 2023. Next, let's fast forward to May of 2023. The modern controls showed up, but they looked a little different. They were in the classic and in the modern, still under the insert, but that's what it looked like in May of 2023. And remember, even at that time, they were all under preview. So let's take a look at the now, which is February of 2024. And I was happy because things have improved for the better. At least it helps you to make an informed decision. So I'm gonna come over here to my Power Apps. On the apps, I'll click on the plus app on the top and I'll go and say, start with a page design. Um, I'll go and do this sidebar one because I just need to basically get into the studio. And once I'm in the studio, right now, those modern controls still don't automatically show up. We actually have to go ahead and turn them on. And just to prove that, if I click on the plus insert dropdown, see, you don't see the modern controls just like you would have like a tab over here, classic and modern. You don't see that. You don't even see it over here. So as of right now, again, February of 2024, you still have to go to settings, but you no longer have to go into the upcoming features. It is in the general section by default. You just gotta scroll all the way, again, almost all the way to the bottom, uh, right here, modern controls and themes. Keep an eye over here, right? I'm gonna toggle this on and you will see themes icon directly shows up over here. So when I turn it on, right there, you see that theme showed up and there was a little effect to actually show you that, hey, this is new. There you go, that effect comes up. Um, and it says, give your app a modern theme. So I'll go and close this. And now that I see this modern theme over here, if I go and click on the got it, under the insert, you will also see this modern show up. Again, this was something that we noticed in the May of 2023 as well. But here's the new part. Now, it has got these little grouped up sections. There's one for input, there is one for display, and there is also one for preview. And I really, really thank the Microsoft's Power Platform Canvas Studio product group to do this because it helps us power users, makers of those Canvas apps to make that informed decision. Because now, anything that is under this input, anything that is under this display, at least these one, two, three, four, five, these five controls, I can confidently use those in my production apps. And, and at the same time, just so that we get comfortable with it, we can also start taking a look at these preview ones because you and I know so many neat modern controls come up. For example, the Copilot preview, that was one of the latest ones. All of these are released, but they are under the preview group. And once again, I really thank the Microsoft product group who focuses on the design studio to go ahead and group it this way because that helps people like you and me to make this informed decision. The last thing I wanna show you is the Microsoft's learning documentation. So I've got a tab over here, this one which is for the learn.microsoft.com. Uh, one of the things I was a little disappointed about was that this documentation hasn't been updated yet because we saw the controls have been updated. But for example, in the overview of modern controls and themes, which was updated or at least built in the November 8th of 2023, if you scroll down, 
in the section for enable modern controls and themes which are there uh, it still goes ahead and shows this old design so hopefully microsoft will update this sooner rather than later however it is still applicable because you can actually see all of these controls that are available and, and an important link that you want to go and keep in your bookmark is the limitations of these modern controls, especially those which are in the preview, because it gives you a good overview of all what the modern control can do. For example, this power effects function, that is a good information for you to have in your back pocket. However, it also goes and lists some of these limitations that you also have, which is also important for you to be aware of when you're starting to plan to use these modern controls. So I've taken the links to both of these learning documents and I put that in the description below, something that you can also go and bookmark. So I really thought it was important to record this short video for specifically you so that you are in the now and you know what you can and importantly cannot use. And this change that they made really helps people like you and me to identify that. And now you know which ones are in the preview, you can happily go ahead and play with them in your non-production apps so that you can prep for the future when these also go into the production one. Hopefully this video was helpful to you and keep using Power Apps Canvas apps. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.